All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rechai Kodash. The bondage to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone, salutations to all that I can push his word with true charity and with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the word and he calls God and Jehovah, Ba'ashem is in the name. Yahweh Shai is his son's name with the word and he calls Jesus and Rechai Kodash is the Holy Spirit. As always, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird, the scattered Israelite foreigners, scattered amongst other nations whose outer appearance may seem to be other nations to whom they've been scattered too, but whose lineage to their fathers lying about to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are Israelites no matter what outer appearance may seem to be. And as always, I'm the brother Yadir from Grimmel Stone Branch Iron Chicago. I'm the brother Tazawar. And we back at you another lesson in a loyal and is edifying. And as you can see by the title, it's going into laugh now and cry later. Because right here, right now, <clears throat> you got these people, we talking about you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, living it up. Hey, acting as if the Lord is going to come down with an inevitable judgment, an inevitable destruction, and an inevitable lead up to it with these plagues. Because what? If you're <laughs> laughing and having a good time right now, that means you are indulging in utter wickedness. Because what? The Lord is coming for them that are sighing and crying. We're not with this place. We, it says here we have no continuous city. Mm -hmm. But we seek one to come. And that's what we're looking forward to. The kingdom we're in uh, a dwell of righteousness. Mm -hmm. I had a quick one for you. Perfect. This Sirach, it's like Ecclesiastes 7 and 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning than, go, than to go to the house of feasting. Mm -hmm. For that is the end of all men and the living will lay it to his heart. Yep. Sorrow is better than laughter for by, sad, by the sadness of the countenance the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. Yep. Hey, this is the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. The heart of fools is in the house of mirth. And these people are living it up, quote unquote, because they're not really living. They're just indulging in pure and utter wickedness, debauchery, man, mm -hmm. iniquity, indulging in a holding on the side of who? Because the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. They're holding on the side of Esau, even the self proclaimed white man, the devil. And it says that you hold on the side, you're going to find mm -hmm. death. Hey, they're wearying themselves in wickedness and destruction, as it says in Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. Yep. Hey, they, they, it says in the book of Proverbs, even in uh, laughter, it's there is so. sorrow. You see? So, hey, Jake, Jacob, they going about it, going about their everyday lives as if they don't hit a prophets. Mm -hmm. And hey, everybody has heard. Hey, you had the Israelites being talked about on ESPN. Everybody has heard this gospel. But you have Jakes that uh, still want to play stupid. Yep. They want to act. They want to they want to act like they didn't hear it. So they can feel comfortable. But hey, you can do that. But however, hey, hey, what if some did not believe? Yep. Should I make the faith of the Most High without effect? God forbid. Mm -hmm. You see, hey, it's still going to happen according to hey, as the Lord declared, man. And he said that this place has an end. Mm -hmm. I had a quick one, too. This Sirach 7 and 34, it says, Fail not to be with them that weep mm -hmm. and mourn with them that mourn. You see, so hey, you, hey, we're supposed to be crying out. For the uh, uh, for the uh, for the abominations, maybe supposed to be crying out to our God to come back and save us, to deliver us. You see, and to bring judgment. We're not supposed to be in that 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 spirit of happiness, uh, that that pride of life. I want to do this my way. I want to do this and that. No, we have to uh, humble ourselves unto the will of the Lord and patiently wait on the salvation of the Lord. You see, you got something? Yep. That's what you just said. This uh <clears throat> Matthew sixteen and I start twenty four. Matthew sixteen twenty four. It says, Then said Yahweh Shai unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. When you go into his word deny, let me put it up. Uh, yep, and uh the word deny in Matthew 16 and 24 is going into let me. I got G5 33 okay. I'll read it it says uh, a parneoma a parneomi but it says uh, to deny G5 33 it says to deny to affirm that one has no acquaintance or connection with someone to forget oneself lose sight of oneself and one's own interests Right, so we have to lose uh, sight of our own interests. We're doing what the Lord did. This is the Lord's will. Mm -hmm. We're renouncing that wicked uh, mindset that we have. Because what we was on 
was as the scriptures say, that which is uh, highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of the Lord. What these niggas esteem is, uh, quote unquote, good is folly. Folly is setting great dignity. But when we come in the truth, we have to deny all that BS and, and follow after the Lord, which is ultimately the right way to go. The way which you will avoid punishment. The way which you won't get caught up. And what is that you have to do? You have to put this out to, to, to the back burner. Mm -hmm. This 1 Corinthians 6 and 19. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, mm -hmm. which ye have of the Most High, and ye are not your own. Right. Mm -hmm. Hey, it says in Psalms, uh, Yahweh is our maker. We did not create ourselves. <laughs> hey, 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 the Lord literally created us, man. It says in the book of Ecclesiastes, the whole duty of man, the Israelite man, is to fear the Most High and keep his commandments. Mm -hmm. It says, for ye are bought with a price, therefore glorify the Most High in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. You see, so hey, we're, hey, we're supposed to hey, do the will of the Heavenly Father and glorify the Heavenly Father while we're here on this earth. We're not supposed to be partaking in the things of this world, trying to forward ourselves, trying to go about and establish our own righteousness, our own will. No. Hey, we have to uh, hey, hey, have the same mindset as our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, which was to do the will of his Father. Yep. You see? You got something? Yeah, I got one. Uh, yeah, this is Luke chapter 6. <clears throat> Luke chapter 6, and I'll start at 21. Luke 6 and 21, it says, Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Because mm -hmm. what? We're, we're weeping right now. We're sighing and crying, letting these people know this place is wicked. This place is not the place to be. This is not your rest. This isn't where you should build Black Wall Street. The Lord is coming with nukes ready, no matter what you're doing. No matter how you live in your life. As, as we keep saying, it's inevitable. You cannot change it. So what are you to do? Mm. You have to change yourself. <laughs> but it all starts with the Lord putting that spirit on you. If not, good bye and good riddance. You're going to get caught up in this. Mm -hmm. Verse 22 says, Blessed are ye when men shall hate you. And what? It says that when you depart from evil, you make yourself a prey. Because this place is full of straight, wicked, and evil doers. These people love wickedness. This place is ass backwards. So we have to <laughs> change over, man. Because this place is going the exact opposite way of uh, mm -hmm. righteousness. Be not conformed to this world. Yep. No, but be transformed. Romans 12. Come. It says, and when they shall separate you from their company. And this says, this blessed when this happens. And shall reproach you and cast your name as evil for the son of man's sake. Rejoice ye in that day and leave for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven. We keep saying, hey, we're looking for a kingdom to come. We're looking for the righteous kingdom. So with these people renounce us, reproach us, talk shit about us, because they're indulging in this wicked society. They're laughing right now. They having a good, a gay old time. For in, <laughs> literally. <laughs> literally, for in a like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. So you people receive your cons consolation. That's the weak ass prize, man. No, whether you uh good on this side, or whether you a bum, you just uh indulging in wickedness. You still receive your uh consolation prize. You're gonna get caught up in that judgment to come, as it says that uh, uh Ecclesiastes. You gotta remember that judgment is coming. Mm -hmm. It says verse twenty five. Really, the point. Warn to you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Warn to you that laugh now. For ye shall mourn and weep. The Lord has come with the, the, the structure for people that's having a good time in this place. For people that think it's all good. For people that think hey, the Lord ain't going to do good or evil. They settled. They got their feet up, man. They smoking a blunt, snorting some coke. They got uh, another man's wife next to them. They having, they, they're having, living it up. And they don't, they want this place to go on forever. They have the mindset of Esau Edom. Mm hmm Can I help this on that? Mm hmm. Uh, you got another one? I was finna get that prophet among you if you uh, Yeah, you, you can hit that. Con. This, uh, Ezekiel. Matter of fact, if I can hit this first. Con. This Second Peter 1 and 16, it says, For we have not followed cunningly devised fables, mm. when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, but were eyewitnesses of his majest majesty. And this was the Apostle Peter, the head of the church. He He's giving you the record, the testimony, the uh, account of him uh, seeing 
Yahushua of him seeing the the son of the son of the heavenly father being glorified, right? Mm -hmm. Showing you that hey, this is something that actually happened, right? This isn't something he just pulled up or some made. This isn't no Greek mythology. This no, this is the actual eyewitness testimony, right? It says, "For he received from the Most High, the Father, honor and glory when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory." This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And this voice which came from heaven, we heard when we were with him in the holy mount. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. Mm. One to you do well that you take heed. Exactly, man. And that's the point. You see, hey, everyone has a doctrine. Everyone has a, 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 a thought, an idea, a vain opinion. But hey, 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 it says, seek ye out the book of the Lord to read. And according to the holy scriptures, when you're reading it with understanding, the Holy Spirit is working with you. The Lord already ordained the end of time from the beginning. And hey, that's written within the Holy Scriptures. So it'll do you well if you listen to what the prophets, the ordained men that the Lord have chosen, you know, that he's clearly dealing with for you to take heed to what they're saying. Because guess what? It's going to happen. Yep. It says, we have also a more sure word of prophecy, where unto you do well that ye take heed. As unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and a day star rise in your hearts. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scriptures of any private interpretation. It says, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. So hey, these scriptures, this understanding, these prophecies that's written, they weren't written by man that's corruptible that just thought about something. No, this is divine inspiration. This is the thoughts and wills and the intent of the Heavenly Father. You see? And as we see, hey, it's happening. Mm hmm Yep, that's what. <clears throat> this is uh, Ezekiel 2. And uh, I get the point in verse 5. It says, Ezekiel 2 and 5, And they, whether they were here or whether they were forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall they shall know that there have been a prophet among them. Mm -hmm. So whether these people here, or whether they forbear, it is what it is. The Lord told us to push his word, but they're going to know that a prophet was among them. Why? Because the Lord of Daniel has prophesied to say before what's to happen. So they're going to see it when it comes to pass. They're mm -hmm. going to know that, damn, what he's saying was right. But what? They're going to be caught up in the plagues that's coming. The Lord says it's coming with the sword, famine, death, and destruction because wickedness has it seedly polluted the whole earth. So the Lord is coming down with that great judgment to come. He has his men on the highways and heads to start out the elder apostles on down, letting you know, rightly dividing the word of truth. The scriptures say there is no lie of the truth. So mm -hmm. we're letting you know the truth. And then you're going to see the truth when it comes to pass. Very soon. Hey, what does it say? Lo, it surely will come? Wait, is that in Ezekiel I got it too? right here. It's, uh, Ezekiel 33. Mm -hmm. And... 33. You start up. Is that the one we say lowest song? Start yeah. up too. Ezekiel 33 and 31. It says, And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people. It started at 30. Ezekiel 33 and 30. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses, and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear. What is the word that coming forth from the Lord? And the scriptures say hey, their voices have went up to all the ends of the work, earth. Yep. Roughly paraphrasing, hey, everybody heard this word. Yeah, hey, we were just chopping it up before this lesson. You had the Israelites being talked about on ESPN. Yep. You had Kanye West, uh, a notable person in in time at this point. A whole a whole uh, charade about him. A yep. hey, Kyrie Irving. A hey, Amari Studemeyer, Kodak Black, Kendra Lamar, all these different people talking about the Israelites, right? Mm -hmm. So hey, everyone didn't heard this, whether they whether they heard it from a cousin, a brother, a nephew, or whoever it may be, right? Yep. It says, and they cometh unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words. But they will not do them. You be sitting there reproving them. Yeah, nah, don't do that. Nah, do it this way. Mm -hmm. Just trust in the Lord. You know, they they hear you. Yeah. Don't believe you. Don't listen. Don't yeah. do that today. Give you the head nod. Give you the nod. You know, they be like, okay, okay. You know? It says, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love. But their heart goeth after their covetousness. And hey, they do what they want, ultimately, right? 
Yep. And lo, thou art unto them is a very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice. Right. It is entertaining. They like, oh, he, oh, he said World War Three gonna happen. They had the signs out there. Yep. They talking about famine, martial law, UFOs, you know, right, uprisings, hard times. Right. And can play well on an instrument, mm -hmm. for they hear thy words, but they do them not. Mm -hmm. And when this coming to pass, lo, it will come. <laughs> then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. And that's going to be the great humbling, man. Hey, all these people, you know, hey, all our people that didn't heard the word, but hey, didn't act on it. Mm -hmm. The Lord is going to bring it to your remembrance when these things start to happen. It said, lo, it surely will come. You see, a, a the vision. Uh, I got in Habakkuk too. Hey, it, it, it's speaking, man. Hey, your own government is telling you about UFOs. Mm -hmm. Your own government is telling you about famines. Your own. Hey, every day the world gets more and more and more uh, heartless, so to say. And that's the scriptures. It said, "A love of many shall wax cold." Your own government is telling you about World War Three. Yep. You see, but the prophet's been telling you this since the late sixties. You see. This uh, Habakkuk 2 and 1, it says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me, what I shall answer when I am reproved. And a prophet say, hey, they get a hey, hearing the word of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. And they doing what? Verse 2, and Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, the watchmen shall lift up their voice. Uh, it says, uh, give, give the Lord no rest until he made Jerusalem a, a praise in the earth. Hey, hey, uh, be instant in season, out of season. In, hey, hey, the word is being preached, right? It says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come and will not tarry. The brother went into the word uh, inevitable earlier, and inevitable means unavoidable, meaning it's gonna happen. You see, the, the, the visions, the prophecies, they're happening right before your face. And, and, and the Lord is so cold, and he's going to have you come to that remembrance. Oh, nephew was a prophet. Nephew was right. Yeah. Then it's going to come. Oh, that guy, yeah, what was his name? Yeah, yeah, he's real. Mm -hmm. His son is going to come back, but it's going to be an ultimate destruction. And they, that's going to be a horrible realization for those that are without. You see? Because it's going to be too late. You see? It says, but because it will surely come, it will not tarry. And they, we're living in the days in which the prophecies are happening. Uh, that's Ezekiel 12. Yep. Uh, the flood and divination. Mm -hmm. This is Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 20, uh, uh, 22. It says, Son of man, what is the proverb that you have in the land of Israel saying the days are prolonged and every vision fails? The proverb is like an old wise saying, you know? And they, what, how do Jake say that today? Oh, man, that ain't going to happen in our time. That's going to happen years from now. Ain't no gray areas in the scriptures, man. The Lord addressed everybody in every angle that they come from, man. Yeah. Showing you his uh, all-knowing, his omnipotence, and all-powerfulness, right? It says, tell them, therefore, thus say of Yahweh power, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But saying to them, the days are at hand and the effect of every vision, right? And that's what the prophets are telling you. Look, they... Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, right? It says, For there shall be no more any vain vision nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. For I am Yahweh, I will speak, and a word that I shall speak shall come to pass. And who is the mouthpiece of the Lord? The prophets. And what have the prophets been telling you? They were they've been prophesying, saying before, telling you World War Three. A the M to the O to the T to the B, the Karagma, yep. which is being openly talked about. Day by day, you hey, you got the automa the autom automation. This fourth industrial revolution with this automation, and these chips being talked about more and more and more every day, with these CBDCs, central bank digital currencies, with these uh, all these other things, you see. And that's not something that just happened and coincidentally. No, these are the prophecies coming to pass right before your eyes. In which the prophets are breaking down and says, For I am Yahweh, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged, for in your days, O rebellious house, and this happened in our lifetime. It says, Will I say the word and will perform and say of Yahweh power? Verse 26 Again, the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, behold, 
They of the house of Israel say the vision that he see of us for many days to come, and he prophesied of the times that are far off. Right, D and J. Oh, that's gonna happen years from now. You know, yeah. America's this, America that. Two hundred years, nah, nigga, our lifetime. Hey, here it is. The world didn't went to shit, and it hasn't gotten better. Right. It has gotten gayer. It has gotten worse. It has gotten more violent. It has gotten more harder. Yeah. Hey, shit, we've been living in inflation for like the last three years, man. And and people are hurting. <laughs> I'm talking about middle class people are hurting. And it's only going to get worse. It's not going to get better. It says in the book of Ezekiel, only evil, only evil has come. Yeah. <laughs> so it's only going to get worse, man. You see? It says, and he prophesied of the times that are far off. Therefore, say unto them, thus say of you, how a power, there shall none of my words be prolonged any more. But the word which I have spoken shall be done, say of you, how a power, man. And hey, the, the Lord is confirming his word because we're seeing the end time prophecies coming to pass day by day. So you people are without excuse. You see? What was the title of the lesson again? Let Laugh now? Cry exactly. And that's what it's going to be. You see? Because hey, 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 we've been crying. Mm -hmm. But as the world gets more and more into shit, hey, we rejoice. That's hey, the Lord is turning our sorrow into joy. Why? Because hey, the end is approaching. Ecclesiastes said, better is the end of the thing than the beginning thereof. Man, and we're approaching the end of our captivity, man. That's right. But before that, we know it's going to be a great destruction. And hey, that's why we do what we do now. We're looking to get, hey, we looking to appease the Lord so we can hey, hey, uh, be covered and we may be hid in a day of Yahweh's anger, man. You see? So for you, Jace, that still want to act like hey, you don't see shit happening on earth, although I know you do see it, hey, 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 hey you're going to be through. You got something? No. This Proverbs chapter 9 and verse 12 says, If thou be wise, thou shalt be wise for thyself. Right? Hey, if you wise, I mean, you got wisdom. It says, The Lord love none but those that do it with wisdom. Mm -hmm. It says, Wisdom maketh you uh, uh, close to incorruption. Yeah, you have the wisdom of Solomon. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you can quote it for me. It, it basically says, Wisdom, you know, maketh you close to the Lord. Well, it's hey, a whole rundown. Yeah. You know? Matter of fact, let me get it real quick. Cool. Like got time. Is seven. Incorruption to make a close to the Lord. Yeah. Uh, six. Yeah. Oh, six. Yeah. This wisdom of Solomon is six. In verse uh, 12, and we just read down. Wisdom is glorious and never fade away. Yea, she is easily seen of them that love her and found of such as seek her. That's why you have to uh, seek after this wis knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Isaiah 33 and 6 was going to be the stability of thy times. It says, whosoever seek for her early... It's so like verse 13, she prevented them that desire her and making herself first known unto them. Whosoever seek of her early shall have no great travail, for he shall find her sitting at his doors. It says to think therefore upon her is the perfection of wisdom and whosoever watcheth for her shall quickly be without care. And hey, that's the benefits of hey, getting the wisdom, man. You understand the Lord's omnipotency and hey, you ultimately you be like, fuck it. I know that the Lord is in control of everything. So all I got to do is please him and everything is going to go good. <laughs> right? It says, For she goeth about seeking such as are worthy of her, showeth herself favorably unto them in the ways, and meeteth them in every thought. <laughs> it says, For the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline, and the care of discipline is love, and love is the keeping of her laws. So if you want to get the wisdom, you got to be disciplined, and discipline is a the keeping of her laws. You see, a being in obedience. It says, and love is the keeping of her laws and giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption yep. and incorruption making us near unto the most high. Mm -hmm. You see? So hey, you got to get that wisdom because ultimately that wisdom leads you to that incorruption, which makes you a, 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 a uh, that's godliness, you know, mm -hmm. that piety. Uh, We're going to jump back to it. So it says, if uh, Proverbs 9 and 12, if thou be wise, thou shalt be wise for thyself. So, hey, if you be wise, hey, you get the wisdom, that's going to do you some good, right? You're going to benefit yourself, right? It says, but if thou scornest, thou alone shall bear it. <laughs> you see? I'll be hitting the NIV. It says, if you are wise, your wisdom will reward you. If you are a mocker, you alone will suffer. And that's what it's going to come down to. Mm -hmm. Those who have gathered uh, faith as a treasure, you know, hey, who the Lord ultimately ordained from the beginning, but who have been laboring for those spiritual, uh, spiritual treasures laid up, you know, they're finna cash out, but you that talk shit that that 
didn't take heed, hey, hey, you're going to have to stand on that unbelief, that disbelief, that infidelity. <laughs> hey, the Lord and Savior, how wish I said, when I come out, will I find faith on earth? Showing you how scarce it's going to be, you see? But hey, 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 that alone is scary, man. You see? But basically, hey, you're going to reap what you sow, man. You want to talk shit? You you want to be a uh, as the elder uh out in South I believe South Carolina he said a filthy stinking uh unbeliever, hey, hey it's all good, hey, it's the prophecy still gonna happen, yep. and ultimately you gonna have to stand on it. It says your second after sixteen your own sin should be the accuser in that day. Mm -hmm. See, all the unfaithful go down there on faithfulness. Mm -hmm. That's what's coming to these niggas that don't believe. They're going to get caught up and catch the heathenistic judgment. Mm-hmm. Oh. You got anything else? No. So, hey, Lord willing, that was an edifying lesson called, like, Mla. Yeah, how will by Hashem? Yeah, how will by Hashem? Rechak Kodash. The one to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone, which taught us this truth. Shalom to all the brothers preaching this word with true charity and with charity. Shalom, Barakatham, Wa Baba Ball, Kwame Ashala. Wa Baba Ball, Kwame Ashala.